Welcome, everyone. We got a, a Dolphy versus a Red Purple Luffy. And the fun thing is, Red Purple Luffy has uh, moved on up in the meta. So I think this is a quality match to watch at this point. Because I know, I know, sometimes, uh, you know, there's some content out there. You really want to see how well a deck can perform. And then they're going up against a leader that, you know, the majority just wouldn't play. So I think Red Purple Luffy is now in the category where it's like, oh, I can respect this match. I'm going to watch. But I do watch a lot of matches in general because you never know what type of tech a person is using that might give inspiration to one of your builds. I'm like, oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I see what they're doing. Okay, let's let's see if I can expand on that. Right now we get a, a swing for 8K. Goodness. And we're already committed to dropping a 2k but this is early advantage so i understand going for it okay one for draw one for summon is that what we're gonna do okay and then that get lets us uh just to build a body on the board it will be a blocker and then we get to see three more cards so now the Luffy player has to decide whether it's worth even um, swinging into that blocker, which in, in essence, it still did its job or just leave it. So what are we doing here? Unless we want to summon our 2K counters, this does look iffy, but I understand we're going to pull some Mihawks out. So I get it. And we get, we're getting another vision card. So that helps a lot too. Well, the thing I've always liked about the red, purple Luffy leader is the 6k stat line and how many cards is available to help that leader just like stay in the match. And I do know one of the main things that holds the leader back is the three life because the moment you're able to start like swinging at him, it's just instant. Like, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. So it's almost like uh it's, it's, it's weird. It's like, how beneficial is the 6K if I'm constantly forced to just immediately start losing cards out of my hand? So I think that's what held the leader back for a while. It's just that type of situation. But I, I don't know. I just always love the um, innate ramp also behind it. So I'm glad to see that the leader is uh, seeing some play. Now, it's kind of funny because with the Dofi mechanics, is I'm always swinging for seven just so I can play my game. Well, in this situation, eight. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's just like, no, my gameplay encourages me to constantly swing at you for something that you're going to have to lose cards out your hand for. You're not, you're not getting away with me just playing a card on curve and then ending my turn. No, uh, <laughs> I'm doing this. I'll definitely let that go. Oh, okay. So we just want to be more aggressive. That's what's happening. Okay, we let it go. I mean, we are at, what, five life? So it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I think that's what the opponent was even thinking about as well. It's like that, like five life. The board is looking relatively decent. They probably didn't really want to give us a card in our hand, but they probably had to establish some sort of damage. Because that's the thing about Dofi. Um, my ability gets it off the top of the deck. So my hand sustains pretty well. Now, right now, the decision is getting rid of the power or blocker. That's it. That's what it really is. Yeah, the blockers are weak. There's no need to keep a, a 7K swing on their board. Now, it's one thing if you were somehow able to attack the king, but you couldn't. So, I think that was the best option. And right now, he's in a situation where he can't quite afford to use his blockers for offense. I mean, granted, our board has a bunch of little things on it. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, there's only, there's only a threat of two swings. But I, I don't think the Luffy player should risk that. I don't think the Luffy player should swing with his blockers. I don't know. I think um, he's not in the proper board state for that. 
Oh, okay then. So now the ba- the game really begins here. Uh, Luffy's going to be swinging for eight, but he's going to be seven K on our turn. Oh, that's that's a lovely. In my opinion, I think that's lovely. Just drop that and bottom deck another character. Yeah, just. Oh man, this this system is a little too good right now. And we have the ability to use leader ability, but I'm not. I don't know what's on top. See, that's the wonderful thing when you set up like you have a a great curve or a great setup to answer the opponent's board while building big bodies. Oh man, that's just. That's the game you want to see, to be honest. Okay, so we just had another blocker, Dofi. Okay, we're gonna we want to see the raging tiger. I respect that. And then potentially summon the Moria so we can get something back. Checking the trash to make sure we even have a target. Uh, that's funny. Well, we have vision for days. We really don't have to worry about that. But, you know, we got another Perona in hand and potentially we can get another Perona back from out the trash. We really needed it. Okay. Bye, Moria. Let's see. That is a 9K swing. That is strong. I mean, we can protect it because after that, there's nothing else he can do. There we go. Now, the only bad thing is uh, the gravity card doesn't help like that in this situation. I mean, it gets rid of the blocker, of course. But it's not what our player was hoping for. I'm sure our player was hoping that there was going to be a summon of like, you know, a four drop or a five drop or whatever. So that, that white beard drop kind of curveball. Whatever. Wrench. Do a wrench. Hit us in our temple. Oh, right now we're just dazed and delirious. Okay, we're going to go for it. We do have two blockers, but the Whitebeard's ability to KO one of the blockers is a real thing. That's a 3k pump altogether, right? So, yeah, they're at nine. Oh, wow. Okay, that's hilarious. It's easier to go for the kid. Yeah. Okay, that's hilarious. It was much easier to go for kid because he was weaker than the leader. Forcing the leader to either protect kid or get rid of more cards than if it was a swing at leader. That's hilarious. Chooses not to use Whitebeard's ability, and I understand because there's just a bunch of blockers, and I'm guessing he wants to drop another Whitebeard. There you go. Okay, we get, oh man, yes, give us a card. We need a card in hand. See, and this is the see, it's the board states like this where attacking life just helps your opponent, and I know that has to be so frustrating. You know, it's like. What else are you supposed to do? But literally attacking life now helps your opponent beat you even more. It's just so crazy to me. Now my paranoia would just leave three up to make sure I can play Dofi. I won't lie to you. That's where my paranoia is at. It's like, wait a minute. Do I want to take that chance? He has one up for a radical beam. Wow, GG, almost, almost. 